Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy and welcome to Hunt the Night. This is a 2D action adventure RPG-ish game and it's supposed to have aesthetics close to maybe Bloodborne and it's supposed to have a gameplay similar to Souls-like games I believe. I saw a little bit of the footage of the game. It looks very interesting. The art style looks really good. And apparently it's kind of challenging. So let's see how I fare with this. But it really caught my eye. So let's check it out. Day and night alternate in an endless cycle where myriad tides of time pass between each one. The cycle of day is ruled by humanity, and night by horrid creatures. Despite their efforts, the arrival of the night always heralds death for humanity. In the ninth age of man, far beyond the twilight- Oh, come on, man! <laughs> I read too slowly. Not epic enough. From my- from my part. Should run faster. <laughs> now, one order of vigilant crows has been summoned. From every corner of Medram, they flock to re reconquer what was, was what was once the great fortress of Ravenford. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Hunt the night. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, guys, if I stumble on my words. Let's see where this starts. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, so we play as Vesper. Okay, that looked pretty cool, but I did not understand what happened. Okay. I think this is supposed to be 16-bit. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to say that. I'm sorry if I stumble a lot in my, with my words. Just remember that my first language is Spanish, and I got... I got Bracer, so sometimes articulating what I'm trying to say is kind of hard. <laughs> Ooh, okay. From the get-go, it looks really good, and the movement look, feels pretty good. Okay, can't do anything. Ooh, and the aesthetics. Vesper can use her dark powers to dash, thereby avoiding falls and other hazards. Press A to use your dash, but keep in mind that it consumes dark energy. The purple bar in the top left of the screen. Okay. So that's like stamina, I guess. Press X to attack. Keep pressing it to perform a three-hit combo. Oh my god, the animations look really good! Press up to use Crimson Rose to heal your wounds. Okay. Uh, which one is my HP? And try with Crow Shrines to fully recover your health, bullets, and save your progress. Losing all your blood drops will make you respawn here. Okay, the blood drops are my life. Okay, move uh, right stick up to enter aim mode and press RT. Okay. Okay. Okay, so with melee weapons, we can recharge one bullet. Cool. Okay, so that obligation should be altering. Oh. Cool. 
Oh, my bad. What's wrong with me? I need to aim before I shoot. Okay. I mean, can I dodge? Oh, right with the dash. Oh my god, Jeremy. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I was scratching my face. Well, give me a break. Okay. They explained to me that you can dash, and I'm wondering, like, how can I dodge? <laughs> okay. Well, it does have imagery that reminds me of Bloodborne. Ooh, Kanger's Castle imagery. Ah. And the stained glass reminds me of the clock tower where Lady Maria is. Man, I got I I, I gotta replay Bloodborne, man. I just wish they would remaster it or remake it, I don't know. Or put out a patch for 60 frames, god. Okay. Okay, I don't understand what happened, but cool. Main menu is not available. You can open it by pressing. Okay. From there, you can equip weapons, move stones, dark powers, and suits. Use the feather tab to read the infused crow feathers you gather as they contain useful information. Cool. Okay. Nameless Terror. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay, my suits. Upgrades. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna read this one. I'm not gonna read them all because I don't want to invest too much time with the lore. It says, There is something strange among the horrors that populate this place. Somehow, bigger, faster, and with a disturbing intelligence. The common ghouls were no rivals for us, led by Dominic Hale from the second murder, and we quickly purified the outer chambers. Our feet was on par with Alexandra's great purges of the bowels of the earth. Oh, what a victory! Yet none of us were prepared for the grotesquery that lurked further within. Without warning, the night awoke deep within the fortress and saw those sharp, bright red fangs in the darkness. It hunted us one by one, leaving behind only this pitiful remnant of myself. And now, in my final moments, I ask myself the reason behind this mission. A curse on the black bone and the damage they have done to our world. Okay. Key items. Cool. Okay. I mean... The aesthetics are there. Mm. Okay. And how many do I have? I, I think I have three.
Okay. <laughs> I, I thought I needed to throw one. Why would they tell me that? Stone Hound. Okay, before I keep doing exploring, I want to do something. I want to know if by sleeping at the crows do the enemies come back, like uh, in a Soulsborne game. Because I would think they do, but I'm not sure because they didn't tell me. Yep. Okay. Okay, I obtained Dark Dawn. Okay, I don't have any... Famous great sword by, that once belonged to the House of Bradbury. Slow and powerful heavy weapons are uncommon among stalkers, but have proven vital against extremely resilient night creatures. Okay, let's try that. Oh no, it's so slow! No! Oh my god, it's so sluggish! Anything else here? Okay, so there's lore. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I can't go back now. I don't know if I could explore the door with the creepy thing. Whoa, buddy! Oh no, I died. Okay. Yeah, I said the game was going to be punishing. I saw people saying that. And that I lose my... Blood Echoes or whatever they call them here. Yeah, I could go in here. I thought I couldn't. In Memoriam Laura de Foe, brave stalker and bearer of the feather cloak during the sixth age of mankind. The bus is missing an eye. Cool. I am wounded, I have been deprived of my feather, and will surely die soon. I've hidden in one of our relic rep rip ribbons? Weapons for you, Stalker. Go find them and purge these monsters once and for all. The boss is the key. Go now and find the Eye of the Night. Relic Reapens. Re it's so weird to pronounce. Okay, the Eye is the key. Okay, get it. Okay. So I, I guess I didn't lose my blood echoes. Okay.
Oh, there's another one. Okay. I can I can just do that, I guess. Hey. Okay. Oh, they can just walk on top of the Okay, so attacking doesn't waste your uh, stamina, purple gauge, only the dash wastes that energy. So technically it's not stamina, right? Um, and one, it, it's just like a soul swarm when you're attacking, uh, you, you commit to the attack. So if you want to dodge, you shouldn't be doing the three attack combo because you'll do it completely. You won't, oh, oh, come on, I didn't know that. Great. Okay. Petals of Hope. Oh, I got a Moonstone. Carving the Hound Glyph allows stalkers to infuse their Night Hall ammunition with dark energy and increase their damage. Okay. Okay, I got a feather. What are the feathers for? Okay, they're just part of the lore, I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. And the game has some nice atmosphere. I don't get it. Is this like a puzzle? Oops. Snap. Oh, that's part of, the, of a cutscene, right? Yeah, I didn't hit to need to hit the hit the flowers. How about a how about a how about a? <laughs> we plunge into darkness under the light of our torches, but those creatures do, do not know fire. They do not need it. They simply embrace change. Adapt or die, an impossible task if we are to flock to a torch like moths to a flame. We must sacrifice what makes us weak, no matter no matter the price. <gasps> okay. Hmm. 
Okay. Dark powers are special abilities that have different effects. Equip one in the status tab and use it by pressing B. Okay, so they have like a cooldown. Phantom Blades, cool. Can I level up? How can I level up? There we go. Uh, let's kill the demon children and then we'll deal with the rest. <laughs> they look kind of adorable. Oh, it's so... Oh, God. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's two attacks and not one. And I have the grenades. Okay, I wonder, can I go... Okay, I can drop down. What's down here? God, okay. Okay, three hits from my current weapon. Oh no, but there's a chest up there. So this is the main path. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what the heck was that? There we go. Lacerators. Okay, it has the same attack power as the one I have. But it's... I think faster. Oh, come on. Let's heal up. Okay, so there are two paths that I can take. You can step over Nick... Noctilium Rifts to recharge your bullets in dark energy.
Oh yeah, this one's much faster. Cool. I hate the fact that they can shoot at you and you can't see them. Oh, what the heck? Okay. That, that shouldn't be a thing in any game. You know what you're saying? Cause it's, Cause it's hella annoying. Okay. Hunting spear. Okay, so we got another weapon. Hmm. Has the same damage. Okay. Okay, it's a little bit slower, but it has more range, I think. Let me see. Man, because the claws are really fast. Yeah, it has a little bit more range, but it's not that much. Yeah, if I can recharge my bullets here, I'll do... You know... I'll shoot them from afar. I haven't used my special ability, so... Can we open the first gate? Oh, come on. There we go. Come on, man. That's so unfair. Okay. He literally just appeared and he managed to get a hit on me. Like, come on, dude. Okay, what did I get? Ooh, a key item, Eye of the Night. Despite what most people believe, Noctilium is not only used for the creation of moonstones, the sanguine art aristocrats use Procet's Noctilium as jewelry in order to flaunt their power and wealth. Okay, but what was on the other side? Darn it. No. Oh, come on. That's not fair. I'm gonna heal. Whatever. Okay, forget you. Okay. Okay. Reading some crow feathers will allow you to discover the solution for some puzzles. Okay. So we have to read them sometimes. Seriously. What? Oh, I killed it. What the heck? 
Riddles in the dark. I am surrounded by, mar by marauders. This might be my last chance to defuse the crow feather. You must heed my words. The secret lies in interacting with the statues of Lillian and her children in a specific order. I found an old manuscript that may be of help. It reads, Marked by tragedy, the royal family start a new journey from which they will never return. Lillian goes last, right in the middle, surrounded by terrors. Okay, so she's the middle one. Edward goes first, crying in the far west. Clarice goes second, singing in the near east. Rowena goes third, laughing in the far east. Frederick goes first. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. So I guess one, two, three, four, five. Cool, the game has puzzles then. The crow feather, honor of my order, now rejects me. Nothing can fool our most sacred object, which easily spies the horror behind the mask. Let this writing be the last remainder of my legacy. It was not the time of kings, but of sacrifices. No one could imagine that he would return. Bringing with him demands for blood and flesh, he appealed to the great oath, and his will was unstoppable. Okay. Cool. Can you explain to me how he got a hit on me? Come on, dude. Yeah, I gotta remember that I have other stuff, and I haven't used my ability. I mean, okay, so it's it surrounds me. Okay. Oh, I'm back here. Wait, I came from here, right? Okay, we haven't gone this way. There we go. Cool. Moonstone will. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's all there is. It's weird, the the frame rate reader says that it's fluctuating, but the game's running pretty consistently. Ooh, a character. Do they talk? Never mind. Boss fight? Oh he 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 got a hit on me just by me just by touching me? Come on. Ooh, what the heck? Hey. I'm dead. Okay, so I need to get good. You know how it is. Okay. Okay, so we can skip cutscenes apparently. Oh, come on, dude. What? Oh, 
Oh, come on, Jeremy. You can do better than that. Okay, so his eye shines before doing that, I guess. Yeah. There we go. Wow, I changed weapons and the difference was incredible. The heavy blade is slow, but if you time it right, it's not bad. I need to find a sweet spot because usually when I play these games, obviously choosing your weapon is very important, but this is way too slow for me. But the other weapons are fast, but I could take something in the middle, like way more damage, but not so slow. But let's, you know, go with the great sword. I mean, you can never go wrong with that, right? Oh my God, that was so good. <laughs> Oh, so freaking good, honestly. You just gotta hyper concentrate, man. It's kind of hard to uh, comment while, you know, doing stuff like that. And you can't charge your attacks or anything, so... Okay, we can't go through here. I mean, I gotta change my weapons back. Cause I really like this, this one. But I'll keep a mental note. Ooh. That was pretty cool. Okay, I guess we gotta drop down. Cool. We got some new areas to explore. Got an elevator here. The plague on the statue reads Malakian, founder of the Stalkers. What do you want me to do with that? Okay. Okay, I guess we are gonna explore it this way. Okay, what's up here first? You appear to lack the necessary key. Okay, let's go left and then we'll go right. I mean, can we go this way? 
No, we can't. Okay, so it's good to know that you have multiple weapons. You obviously have to find the weapon that you feel most comfortable with. But at the same time, you need to find the weapon that's most appropriate for the fight you're in. That's always subjective, right? But And changing your accessories accordingly is important too. I didn't change my accessory, but for example, this accessory that says uh, Night Howl damage per shot plus three really w didn't do anything for me because I didn't shoot at the, the, the wolf, at the boss. So this one would have been good. Okay, wait, what's up here? Ooh. We'll need proper resources if we want to get out of here. So, well, stop that. I want to read it. God, okay. So you don't lose your currency. Three bolts, bullet consumption, two. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Not going to buy either of them. Suck up, survive, sucker. Oh, and get us out of here. Okay. I'm not going to buy either of them because... I don't know. Okay, let's see if somebody else sells something. I don't know. Patrick Higgins. We were sent here to die for nothing. That thing destroyed the murder in seconds. And I was the first to get down here. Damned in grace didn't even thank me for opening this way. Don't get me wrong, we suckers have always been cannon fodder, but in this place, we're nothing but food on a platter. No reinforcements, no hope. Sooner or later, one of those things is going to drag us into the dark. At least I found a bottle of wine to help me enjoy my last moments. Care to sip? What cat got your got your tongue? Or perhaps your, the rumors are true. That old wound prevents you from speaking, eh? What a shame. Okay. The lore. Jessica Bradbury. Oh, she seems nice. What do you want? I am Jessica, the last remaining descendant of the House of Bradbury. Unlike the other weaklings, I'm not going to sit idly by while we die. One of those strangers beings... One of those strange beings soared through my sister as she were made of paper, but I shall only mourn her loss once we have quit this place. For now, I must remain strong. If those paintings are the key to our freedom, then what are we waiting for? Let's not waste any more time here. Enough of these games. If I must die, I intend to expire just like my sister, fighting until my very last breath. Okay, you talk a lot. Adrian Fenwick. For Malakian's sake, you're here. Are you from the reinforcement murder? Oh, never mind that. We are in great need of your help either way. Listen carefully to my words, stalker. What you see before you are the remains of the fifth murder. A powerful creature for forced us to enter this place and we have been trying to escape ever since. I sent scouts to find a way out, but only Matthew Doyle returned. He brought with him an old music box that has been locked by complex mechanism. Matthew mentioned four strange paintings that decorate this part of the fortress. I sent him to investigate them quite a long time ago. I beg you to find the paintings and Matthew, of course. I will go myself, but my grievous wounds only attract the beasts. Oh, these horrid children. Time is of the essence. The box has four openings in which statues are to be placed. Please help us unlock them and escape. You find the note. It reads, the key to opening the box must align the order of the statues and the paintings. The statues have descriptions of the events in their base, but what is the correct order? Something's missing. Something's amazing. Okay. I'm not gonna buy anything. Because I, I feel like I don't want to buy... You know, more bullets. More uh, shooting weapons. Aww. Okay, I can't, I can't do anything here. We got it. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna buy a weapon. I, I want to know if you can equip multiple guns. Let's buy them both. Whatever. That was all I had. Sorry. I hope it's enough. Okay. Okay, so you can cycle through the weapons. Cool.
Nice, that's like a shotgun. Okay, cool, cool, cool. The plague on the statue reads the Malikian founder of the stalkers. Okay. I can't reach that. Okay, maybe I'm missing something because I, I'm pretty sure I cannot reach that. No, not another one. Come on. Okay, some money. Oh, not again. Yeah, I just died, dude. What? What the heck? There's another one. This dog, D dude. What the heck, man? How many are there? Seriously? Wow. Okay, that's a problem. When you transition between arrows, they can literally just hit you as you go in. Which is very unfair. Because you're stuck in the animation. Anyone else? There we go. The only thing I don't like about those enemies is that they appear and tag you so fast, kind of hard to react. Oh, come on, I could have reached that. No, why is it so hard for her to move diagonally? Follow the, the controller, girl. There we go. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying, see? And a lot of them appear at the same time, so they kind of stack up. It's very annoying. Yeah, that that's the tell, but I mean, come on. Stop that. Okay, just more money.
Okay, they, they, they didn't give me a heads up there. Come on, dude. I didn't hear the, the breathing on time. Okay. Oh my god, I swear there's something wrong with the movement of the control stick. Great, I ran out, ran out of bullets. Now I can't reach it. Oh, now I can't do anything. And they all share the same bullet pool. Okay. There we go. Whatever. Yeah, whatever, dude. Forgot about the grenade the grenades. Okay. Boss fight? There's that purple lady again. Umbra. Here we stand once more because of you and your weakness. Once again, you forced me to intervene. You came here because you were in danger. Okay, so we actually talk. But of course, I didn't merely come here to save you. I came to, to preserve myself. Tell me, Stalker, what would have become of you without me? I would have died a long time ago. I do not fear my fate. I don't know what I find more pitiful. Your confidence in your utter weakness or the fact that you don't seem to care. It runs in the family. That it does. It's not the first time you've suffered for being born a black bone. And it won't be the last. The brave, virtuous Vesper staying with her father's sin. I wonder what the other stalkers would think if they knew I existed. They surely couldn't hate you any more than they already do. Shut up for a moment. I need to think. I only say what you think, since you aren't strong enough to admit it to yourself. You hide your scars, but everyone can see your pro prognosis. I give you power, whether you want it or not, I am your voice. Just another dark echo. No, I am darkness itself. Sooner or later, the night will arrive and cover the earth. The deep night is coming, and not even you can escape from its grasp, Vesper. The stalkers will prevail. We shall defeat the night. You put great faith in your order, stalker, but do not forget, none of your esteemed stalkers can speak with the night like you do. I know, I'm different, I don't care. But you should, look around you. No one would ever come to this place, much less voluntarily. If they find out what you are, they'll kill you. Okay. So there's like a secret with us. We can talk to the darkness. Apparently. She keeps protecting us. Vesper can summon Umbra at will. Keep in mind that this process consumes dark energy from the dark energy bar. Umbra can cross dark purple miasmas areas and swap locations with Vesper upon reaching the other side. Nice. Cool. Nice. The painting depicts touch of the newborn obtained. A human devouring beast surrounded by blood and guts. Cool. Now, how do we get out of here? Wow, she can reach long distances. Cool. Oh, it's just for money. Yeah, why is it shiny if I already interacted with it? Okay. 
Man, I'm loving this game. We have like so many abilities and so much stuff that we can do. So now we can go up here, I guess. Ah. Oh. There we go. Okay, she can't cross. Okay. Oh, come on. Darn it. How did, how did that hit me? Oh, great. Anyways, we can go back through here. We cleared the path. No, we didn't. Oh, they just respawn infinitely? Ah, come on. Okay, so I need to ignore the enemies. There we go. Okay. There we go. Oh, oh, that was brutal. I'm about to die. Oh no. Black crow key obtained. Oh, he's dead. Awesome. Oh, we're back. Cool. Okay, we lack the necessary key. So the key we got is another one.
I, I gotta say, I feel like this game is almost like a dream come true to me because I love this pixel art style of games. And I've always thought that it would have been cool to have like a Bloodborne type of game or Soulsborne type of game like this. And this is it. It's really good. It's really good. Hi everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our content.